write letters. Because why not? Right? Letters that needed to be written, letters that wanted to be written, and letters that practically wrote themselves. Let me paint you a picture. Is the year. You know what? That's not important. The what's important is that it's ending. All of it. Well, at least for me. And I have envelopes. Each one of them is marked with a wax seal that has a rose on it. Perhaps it had a drop of blood in it once, perhaps not. There's really no way for you to tell. I know. But here it cracked as it yanks open. The first envelope. My letters to it. To it, I say, you were fleeting, you were momentary, changing names, shapes, identity, desire, happiness, anxiety. To it, I say, you, I disregarded, and you, I paid too much. You demanded and I provided, you demanded and I declined, you demanded and I stopped until we started the cycle all over again. And so, for your pleasure, and for mine, let's dance one last time. Adieu. The second envelope is old, almost too old. It, it almost feels like it would crumble away and fly at the merest of touch. These are my letters to them. Them that said, I couldn't, I shouldn't, I mustn't. Them that insisted I must. To you, to you, I gave away all of my books. All 1984 of them at the last count. Or maybe it was 42. Wait, what was the question? Anyway. I say, take care of these because here are ideas and thoughts that have outlived their creator, that entice, that that reproduce, that paint an image for someone perhaps on the precipice of collapse. A twig for someone in need, a brick only in case of emergencies. I tell you, take care of these because we all exist in a perpetual state of emergency and with these, one last time, let's all hope to survive. Until next time, farewell. The next letter, next one below, is stuffed, bursting at its seams. It smells faintly of rains and old coffee stains. And inside it are pages, all half full or half empty, depending on the kind of guest you feel like being. These are my letters to you. These contain the unfinished conversations, the incomplete ideas, the things we never could find time for, the things we always pushed for later. To you, I say, as the world burns around us, let us sit down and finish each one of these because hope is a wonderful thing to have, but we are running out of time. So let's sit and finish these conversations as I change lanes from the driving seat to the unknown, perhaps a dead end. To you, I say, let's talk. And finally, one for you, one for me. To me, I hope, I hope for a figure with bony legs and bony shoulders, yet grandfatherly enough to allow me to rest my head on its shoulder one last time as it comes to visit me, holding a scythe or coming on a buffalo or with just a plain solid line. As it comes to visit me, I just hope to remind, to rewind, to remember that the only correct state of mind is surprise, the only emotion is joy and the only time is now. Or if all of that sounds too much out of a greeting card, it is, it is from a wonderful book. Just remember.